What's up guys and welcome to Vlogmas Day 24! Merry Christmas Eve! It's Christmas Eve. I am <laughs> I'm going to the mall, but I'm not actually gonna go in the mall because that would be crazy. I actually ordered some stuff. I'm in the car right now. I ordered some stuff yesterday from Crate and Barrel and Nordstrom. Just like some last minute gifts and that car is so loud. We get it. <laughs> Some last minute gifts and some things for what I got for Christmas video that I'm trying to film. So we're gonna go pick that up and just like stuff that I needed for the house that like I want before all the stores are closed. And I was like, I could put in my what I got for Christmas video. Anyway, so that's where we're headed right now. I'm driving, I was at a light, but now I'm driving. So I'm gonna stop vlogging, but I'm doing curbside pickup, which is super helpful because I don't wanna get out and the mall is probably super crazy right now anyway. That's what we're doing and then Christmas Eve. I mm, don't really have a ton of plans today. Just gonna be spending it with my boyfriend and you guys know he's Jewish so he doesn't really do much like his family doesn't really do anything for Christmas. Um, we are gonna bake some cookies I think and get some food and just spend the day together and probably drop off some Christmas cookies to his family and do some stuff like that. I don't know and then tomorrow we're gonna hang out with his family. Anyway okay I'll update you guys when I'm done here. All right guys, so I just got um, to his place and I got gifts that I needed to get. I just got a Joe Malone candle and one of these Barefoot Dreams blankets. They're the best blankets ever for his parents, but we're gonna get food right now and then get some supplies to make Christmas cookies at the grocery store real quick. And then we're gonna come home and have a chill night, just us and make cookies. So that's what's up, so let's go. We just ate our Christmas Eve dinner and now we're walking around Dana Point Harbor and they have so many cute Christmas lights and we're gonna go see this whale but like the whole harbor <laughs> but like the whole harbor has like thousands of just Christmas lights everywhere it's so pretty like look at these so pretty this whale is so cool you can go in it lipstick on my mask okay guys we are at Ra oh my god it's Chris why is this guy honking it's Christmas Eve anyway we're at Ralph's we're gonna get some ingredients for the cookies so let's go get started on them they have to be in the fridge for like an hour so I'm gonna get started I have all the stuff in front of me and I haven't made like cut out little sugar Christmas cookies in so long so hopefully I do good I literally brought my mixer from my house I brought these from my house just got some parchment paper and some cookie sheets and all the ingredients so let's Freaking start this shit. This makes like 32 four inch cookies, I'm pretty sure. And I'm gonna make just like a white icing for the top. I forgot, what are they called? Piping bags to put the icing on the cookies. So they're gonna be like, I'm just gonna spread them with a knife, I think. I don't know, it'll be fine. They'll be a little messy, but it's fine. It'll be cute. They're not professional. Joyfoodsunshine.com. I don't know, I just found a random cut out sugar cookie recipe. This is like the photo that they use. So, you can find that. First, 
Cream together butter and sugar in the bowl of a standing mixer. All right, easy enough. Butter and sugar. So we need one cup of salted butter. Oh, I got, I got unsalted. We're off to a bad start. I think it'll be fine. I'll just add more salt. Archie's watching me bake cookies. Oh no, I'm gonna get copyrighted. And then sugar, one cup of sugar. I bought these measuring cups, so now we have measuring cups here. Sugar, one cup of sugar. Oh yeah, butter and sugar, butter and sugar. Add vanilla and eggs, and we're gonna beat it. Two teaspoons vanilla. Okay, also, since when did vanilla get so expensive? It's literally like $30 for vanilla. I was very confused. Two teaspoons vanilla. One, two, and then two large eggs. One. We have a lot of eggs now. Two. Beat. Okay, time to mix this up. Start it slow. Oh. <laughs> oh no, the butter's in. <laughs> it's just really cold. Okay, we're ready. Wow. You just leave it. It'll mm. it'll work itself out. Now, what do we do? Add the, the dry ingredient. Okay, so we have to wait. Right, Archie? <laughs> <laughs> Working itself out and combining the dry ingredient. Baking powder, three quarters. Three quarters, darling. No. <laughs> One quarter, two quarter, three quarter baking powder. Half a teaspoon salt. Spoon. We're gonna combine them. <laughs> what she be doing? <laughs> or not. Okay, back to this. All right, the dough is done. It looks really good. So now it says to separate into like two round discs and wrap in plastic wrap so that you can put it in the fridge. So let's see how this goes. I'm gonna wrap them up. Also, we're watching The Grinch in the background. We love. I'm putting the dough in the fridge for a bit. Perfect dough. Looks good. All right, guys, so I let the dough cool for two hours. It's two hours later. We still here. I floured a surface. We're going to roll it out to like a quarter inch thickness. I like them thinner. And then, yeah, we're going to roll them out and use these little shapes to cut them out. There's a lot of dough. batch is about to go in and then uh, when that's done I'll work on this one looking pretty cute some of them like I had to stab them with my nail to get them out of the thing that one was like a nail thing towards this I got the hang of it I think you put them in for like nine minutes so they're done I feel like those look so perfect these look a little thicker, like you can tell with that one, but those ones are good. Yay! So yeah, I'm gonna let these cool and then I'm gonna work on the next batch. All right guys, so I finished all the cookies. I did the second batch. This is how they all turned out. Focus, yes. There's actually so many of them. They look really good. I didn't get to the icing. Well, I did. I had to replace corn syrup with honey because I read that you could do that. But now it just tastes like too much like honey. I have it in the fridge just in case tomorrow I do want to use it. But I don't know, just like literally tastes like honey. And I don't know if that's 
that's the vibe. I don't want to ruin them, but also I feel like they're just not complete without icing. And I was thinking like, oh, I could just get more powdered sugar tomorrow and like fine corn syrup, but like literally everything's closed on Christmas. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. What do you guys think I should do? Let me know. But I think they turned out really good. I tried one without icing and it was pretty good. So success. They look so cute. But yeah, I think that's gonna be it for today's vlog for the Christmas Eve vlogmas. I can't believe we are done. Like I literally, I mean, tomorrow's the last day, but I can't believe I actually did it. Pretty proud of myself, pretty proud of myself. Yeah, I hope you guys liked today's vlog. I hope you guys had a really great Christmas Eve with whatever you guys are doing. Let me know what you guys did for Christmas Eve down below and what you're gonna do for Christmas in the comments. I wanna know. This year's definitely different. We're just hanging out, eating co or making cookies like the two of us. Yeah, I'm gonna go wash my my face and go to bed now so it's literally midnight anyway i love you guys so much and i'll see you tomorrow for the last day of vlogmas for christmas bye guys